Mm. What's up is Lip Service. I'm Angela Yee. I'm Gigi McGuire. I'm Stephanie Santiago. And we have two guests today. I'm uh, Dr. Victoria Zadrock. Mm. And the Mayor Capella Gray from Uptown. Hey. Okay, we're, we're going to be calling you Dr. Z. Yeah, that's easy. Yeah, sure. from here on out. Capella Gray is here with us. So mm. welcome for both of you. It's your first time on Lip Service, right? Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, so now we did this on purpose, Capella Gray, because Dr. Z is a clinical psychologist, a sex therapist, right? Word. Yes. And so, so we're going to supposed have... to psychoanalyze you. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was just a coincidence. But congratulations to you on all the success that you've been having from the thank Bronx you. representing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's a lot going on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How's that affecting your social life? Um, it's a little bit more late than it was before. Mm-hmm. Just a little bit? A lot of it, but you know, it's just, <laughs> it's what was it way. like before this then for you? It was lit. We was already outside, like the gang been moving around and stuff like that. We've been living in the city, so now it's just people from different states, people that we never heard of, and stuff like that supporting and stuff like that. So that's fire. Okay, you mm-hmm. know, because people always say with more attention, also sometimes can cause more drama too. Mm-hmm. No, I don't be no drama. Not with me. You don't seem to be too stressed. There. Right, he don't look stressed <laughs> at chill, all. I know. Yeah, we were like. It- <laughs> what, what drama? <laughs> I'm good. And it's interesting to have a song blow up the way that you did during a pandemic, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's like the best. It sounds bad, but that was like the best thing that happened to me, the whole pandemic thing, because the whole industry was at the crib. So, like, mm-hmm. yeah, I was sharing that and stuff like that. It came up organically, so that was fire. All right. I was just telling them, I just actually got back from Jamaica. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, at midnight. So, mm-hmm. and I know your parents are Jamaican, right? Mm hmm. Funny. When's the last time you've been there? I haven't been there yet. I haven't got the chance never, to meet you Never, never, ever. Not We've yet. all been there. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. 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 I was in it. I my birthday in Jamaica this yeah. year. Yeah, where we sent all the barrels and all that, if you know, you know. But yeah, yeah nah, I ain't. I ain't. <laughs> I just I is it, on, it, like is it on your bucket list? Yeah. Is it on your, your list of things? Of how, I can't wait to go to Jamaica. So Especially now. Yeah, now, that'll be really. Now. Now you too busy. No, no, no. I'm saying now I can do it the right way. I can do it the oh, right okay, way. Right, okay, you know okay, what I'm saying? Okay, okay. And now I'm in a position to help. It's a, it's a movie yeah. now. So, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. when you go, you going. All right, you know so what I mean? <laughs> we're going to play a little game with you right now. No, oh, man. And Dr. Z, you're going to analyze some of these answers, okay? It sounds good. All right, so this is scruples. You know what scruples are? I don't. Scruples is like what type of morals you have. <laughs> All right, so we're going to ask you some uh, hypothetical scenarios, mm-hmm. and you're going to say what you would do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, analyze me, miss. Okay. Go. So let's just say you're dating a woman, mm-hmm. and she has to go to work, so she leaves you in mm-hmm. her apartment, and her journal is open right there. You see it next to the bed in the morning. She's not there. You're by yourself. Would you look at it? Her journal is open? You mm-hmm. know, I'm closing that. I'm good. So you wouldn't even be curious at all? Would I be curious? Of course. Well, I'm closing that. I'm not going to lie to you. You never looked through a phone? No. Nah. All right. Now, how would you analyze that move, Dr. Z? No, either like very self-confident or maybe it just uh, like trying to play good, you know, play, like good impression management. Because I think most people would look. Right. Yeah. I think you just glance a little bit. No, nah, I would see. definitely be curious. I'm human. I'm going to be curious. But you but wouldn't look. I'm not even going to wear. Has anybody ever gone through your phone? Um. Yeah. <laughs> it's a pause for a moment. <laughs> right. Now, what if it was the phone right there? Yeah, no, I'm not looking at the phone. It was a phone with a picture. No, I'm good. A phone with a picture, you said? Yeah, yeah. it pops up. You know how sometimes yeah. it tell you, it just pops yeah, up. Pops yeah, there's up. a picture like, popping like up, memories. then it's like, all right, it's my, all right, see what's going on. What's this? <laughs> all right. You know what I'm saying? Like at that point, it's like. <laughs> the but, willpower, that's where the willpower yeah, is. Yeah, but if I'm looking for something, that's how you, for me, find stuff and you overanalyze stuff that's there, that's not even really that's there, just how just, you know what I'm saying? I'm not even about to. You think some people just don't want to know too? Because that's part of it also. Yeah, I think. No, just some denial. Oh, I'm sorry. That's for you. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, one. I think some people don't want to know. And some people know if you start looking, you'll end up finding and they're not going to drive yeah, that's themselves my, crazy. That's why yeah. I don't look through phones yeah. because I don't, I I don't want to know. It's, it, I'd rather just not know. Mm-hmm. Do whatever you're doing. For me, it's not. It's, it's not that exact. It's not that. I mean, but, it's half that. But like you said, if a picture pops up, something just like intentionally <laughs> pops up. It's like God placing things. You that's God. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. 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 That's, that's, that's exactly. Exactly. God put this journal here. No, God did that's that. that. If like, a picture right. pops up, then word. That's God's plan. You know what I'm saying? It's like but just otherwise. placement. That's God's, God's so. placement. Otherwise, you're you like, know? if you trust, you trust until your trust is word. broken. And if it's not, if you don't trust, I'm not. So you trust women? Yeah, to an extent, there's a little. I mean, not really. Yes, kind of. Yes, 
It depends. <laughs> case by case <laughs> scenario. That's really broad, like, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, yeah. okay, because some people start off at a place of, I don't trust you until you build it. Some people start off yeah. at a place where I trust you until you break it. I'll do... Mm. As of recently, I've been trying to be more optimistic and be the second one. Okay. But I could definitely admit, like, before... Yeah, nah, miss, I don't care. What are you talking about, miss? Please, you don't gotta, even got to do that. I'm just... You know what I'm saying? Like, not really that trust in that that much, but I've definitely been trying to be more open to it as of recent. I believe in that good energy, too. Like, mm-hmm. sometimes you go in with a negative attitude and it makes things bad for you. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not for real, though. You're overthinking, you know what I'm saying? They do something and now you're overly suspicious. Like, nah, what that mean? What you meant by that? Or whatever like that. But now it's like, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt until you foil it. Then it's like, yeah, well, you, you lose points. You, don't, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You started the 100 and lose from there. It's definitely a better way to do it, to, to trust than not, mm-hmm. if you can. The problem is people, once their heart gets broken again and again, that's when they become armored, and mm-hmm. then it's harder. Mm-hmm. But uh, but I think that, you know, you should start f- from a position of trust, because it's a terrible way to, to have a relationship otherwise, constantly suspecting and wondering and... We've yeah, been there. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, Dr. Z, you, do you think that for a woman, right, the first time, let's say a woman meets Capella Gray on the road and the first time they have sex, is there something wrong with being too good the first time? You know how some women want to hold back and they don't want to do too much because they feel like this might be too good. Mm. I don't want him to think I'm You don't want to give him everything. <laughs> yeah. I don't want him to think I'm an Well, I, I mean, <laughs> it depends. It depends on the woman's self-confidence. Some women just, they're just in the moment and they're enjoying themselves and they don't want to hold back. Mm. Uh, it, it depends. I don't, I don't think, it, I think it's good to make a, the first, the good impression right away. Mm. I, I don't see you should be necessarily holding back. It's, then you're just, it becomes a game. Like, what do you hold back? What do you, you should just be yourself. I'm gonna be Confident. myself, but I'm gonna mirror the, the energy. Yeah. Like same. if you if, if I feel like you're giving me everything, then I'm gonna give you everything. But if I feel like you ain't really de- deserving back, yeah. of what I can possibly give you, then you ain't getting it. Like Yeah. Period. Okay. Yeah, I, I agree. It's about the energy. The <laughs> I mean, I wanna go. give it all. Even if it's the first time, you know, or that's the, just me, but the tenth time, like it's the energy thing. Yeah. Well, yeah. he's never been to Jamaica, so he has no restrictions. I don't know what she's talking about. First of all, <laughs> I just feel like having restrictions, especially on the first time, maybe it's a guy thing. You can't you can't hold back on the first time. That's the group that's the one for the group chat. That's the one that's, that's the, the one for the group chat. Nah, that's the one she's gonna run back into her. Nah, home literally, girls. that's the one that's gonna determine if you get to fucking can Go back. if we get to have yeah. sex again on the, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I think a guy should put his everything when the first time yeah, he has nah, sex with me. Yeah. <laughs> the first time he's supposed to be wilding. Right? Sure. Yeah. Have you ever felt like you needed a do over? Like it didn't go the way you planned? Do over. I mean, probably a couple times, maybe. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Not ever, yeah. But, but if you have good chemistry, part, yeah, I nah. think then even if some things are not smooth, you you're gonna give it another chance, yeah, right? right? It's all about the chemistry, for yeah. sure. So, like, give me an Nothing. example yeah. when it didn't go well. Like, what make it not? Was it her or you? Um, too fast. Why am I doing do over if, if she's not? All right, it's like. <laughs> <laughs> nah, with me, yeah, nah. Sometimes you know what I'm saying. You get too excited, you know what I'm saying. Too quick, you know the vibe. But <laughs> he said, you know the vibe. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, Especially yeah, when it's short, even not even. You don't pace yourself, you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, nah. Other than that, nah, I don't be no. Do you, what do you have to think that. in your head to pace yourself? Do you ever have to think about other things? Like dragons and dinosaurs and shit. Hell yeah, I did that a couple times. <laughs> Robots, and just everything, just not just anything not sex. Sometimes you just gotta talk to yourself, like yo, yo relax, come on, come <laughs> <laughs> <Hold> on. <laughs> Violent. Women sometimes think it's flattering though if you can't control it. Sometimes, we, yeah. yeah, we think we t- we do that on purpose. What? But I think most right. women know the, that, you know, the guy gets excited. It's going to be over pretty soon. Meaning, like, they're not going to judge a guy but just by that Yeah, like, it's time. okay. Yeah. As long as not every time. Know. It's always okay. No, it's yeah. always okay. It's kind of awkward when a guy takes too long to come. It's like, are you okay? Because <laughs> I know it's not okay? me. <laughs> he said, are, are you okay? okay? He said, I know it's not me. <laughs> <laughs> are you good? Definitely. Now, what do you recommend? There are guys, though, who all the time come fast, right? Yeah, no, obviously. Yeah, I mean, almost every guy, the first time when they're excited, it's going to be quick. Mm. Um, but, uh, yeah, for some people, so there's there's, like, psychological methods you could use. You could actually, there's like books. Um, mm-hmm. There's one I recommend by Barbara Keesling, and it actually explains for guys, I mean, for guys who are what's called like premature ejaculates, that happens all the time. Mm-hmm. And they, you can 
train yourself. So it's basically yeah. when you engage in train other eroticism, train. you train yourself to last, like to uh, peak well. and slow down. But some guys, even with that, can't. Like, it's just, that's just how they're built. So there's actually medications now you could take. Um, like, they prescri- you could get Ultram prescription, which uh, helps guys last longer. Mm-hmm. So there's a solution edging, for edging, you said, when you, like, slow it down? Yeah, like edging or peaking. Like, you, you get close to, to the peak, and then you mm-hmm. slow down. So you you learn the point of no return kind mm-hmm. of thing. I like yeah, yeah, that that's when I masturbate. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's that's what, what, that's we what talked guys about know. this with Chelsea Handler, remember? Yeah. Yes. I like to do that when I masturbate. So, but like, but I always tell the guys if that happens. <laughs> <doesn't> <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, Boy. so you know, but uh, so you could. Most guys train themselves, like, and there's actually like if you go on YouTube, there's like male porn stars that have like tutorials on how to do it because obviously in porn they have to, you know, stop, go, turn, change the lighting, right. <laughs> go again. You know, they have to learn to control themselves, so they obviously train. So there's a way to to train yourself. Just is that a good out. trick to change positions? If you feel like it's about to happen, um, yeah, cause not really, no, actually, no. <laughs> cause what position is gonna make me want to come? Like, cause then you stop and take it out for a minute, for give a you a little rusty, little, little reset. I get yeah. it, but yeah, nah. And I think um, certain positions make guys come faster too, like doggy style. I feel like that is always faster. Um, yeah. I think yeah. it also depends on the fit between people, right? Mm-hmm. Some people fit differently. That's why I say some. It's the fit but also there's also you know like women can do kegeling men can do kegeling too which is training the muscle what yeah. kind of, what, what does it, that do for them so it <laughs> it also teaches them to be able like actually there is a way some men are able to achieve male multiple male orgasms without ejaculating so they can have an orgasm without ejaculating so there's what? like a book on um multiple male orgasm like now i'm not a guy so i can't but no, I it's try like, what works. Okay. have you ever had an orgasm without ejaculating Nah, but yeah, that's I, or maybe I haven't done or don't remember some because that just sounds different. But <laughs> nah, once, like it, you, you know feel that? like you came, but you didn't come, but and nothing then came out. You could still yeah, talk. So, okay. Actually, yes, yes, absolutely. Word. Yeah, so it's a way to to train the muscle where you could, um, you know, um, where you could sort of it's almost causes retrograde ejaculation sometimes when you can hold back and then you can continue so there's like a whole book and there's tutorials on that and uh, Mm, um, there was this there's this Australian (laughs) group actually years ago I saw them in London and they're called um, the art of Australian genital origami. So they come from these Australian Aborigines and apparently they like train their muscles their to do all these crazy tricks with their penis. Wow. And like I pick up a book, turn the page. It, wow, it's, men it's, are so fascinating the it, things they can so do. So you look it up, yeah. So wow. they train themselves like they can like, so these two guys where I was like in Push London us. and I went to the show <laughs> and I'm like, I wonder what this is about. They're like naked on stage. And they so were doing tricks with their dicks? They were doing tricks with their dicks. I, wow. I could swear it was like the most amazing thing. So Man, I'm sure so I think incredible. I'm sure they're still around because they're quite unique. It's, yeah, it was called <laughs> Ancient Australian Art of Genital Origami, and they Genital would like origami. do these little like they would pull like it would like do these I different see tricks. This. Okay. I'm, I'm, I gotta see. Yeah, this. They have to Google this. Later. That you have no, to I'll Google it. And they would pro- pro- they would project crazy. it up on like the you know this, the the, the wall. So yeah, the screen so you could see. And then they were explaining. Then that's like what? by learning to control the muscle, you could like suck, you could do all this stuff. So obviously that's a lot of training, but if you just do a little bit of control, that's how most men claim they are able to achieve multiple male orgasms. Mm. Mm. I'm not a guy, so I don't know. But that's like, like, I do giggling all the time. Would it be weird if I taught Mm -hmm. that to a guy? If I learned about (laughs) it, taught it, taught to a man? That's what I was thinking. Get multiple male orgasms, (laughs) right? Like, can you feel when a girl just kegels on you? Yeah, yeah. Of course. Mm. And so that really, that might push you over the top too, because you can feel it like. Do you like no, it? It's not as, ooh, as y'all think it'd be. It's not. You don't like it. That's <laughs> overrated. It's overrated. It's overrated for it's her. Not, it's-, it's, it's just not. You know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? Do your thing, you know what I'm saying? But. <laughs> Do your thing. Well, when you're young, right, <laughs> you recover quickly. So, like, the young guys you can come and then they can go again and again. Mm-hmm. But as you get older, mm-hmm. it there's more of a refractory period, right? So that's when the guys 
need what to age learn. What age did that kick in? Like that's <laughs> he's nervous already. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, like, nervous. I like, want to know like, how much longer I got. <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, I would say like after like thirty five is when the you testosterone got, starts. Got, like, you we got, have some time. So wait, so after you come, you can stay hard and keep going. It depends. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes, most mm-hmm. times, but. Yeah, but see that what yeah. happens is the testosterone the testosterone declines. So that's called male andropause. When you start hitting male like andropause, the testosterone declines. That's when it's like usually, menopause. It's it's sort of, but it starts earlier, and oh, okay. uh, so that's when men like they they have a much longer refractory period. So they mm-hmm. can come and then they can get up for a couple of hours or an hour, mm-hmm. or whatever. So that's when then they want to learn how to have multiple orgasms without. Or got, without ejaculating because, because that's when it's because over. Because it's over. Right, over right. Once it comes out. Yeah. What yeah. about squirting? Has a girl ever squirted on you? Yeah, of course. I mean, yes. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> what you think? <laughs> what? Listen, what? Listen, you ain't got to clean it up. You could, you could keep it as gangster as you want to keep it. It's <laughs> nervous. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Don't hold back. Well, I'm like, don't play with me. Way, but, <laughs> the first time it happened, did you know what it was? Yeah. Okay, I didn't. <laughs> the first time I squirted, I had no idea. Like, what just happened? Yeah, the nice first time I left a puddle in the bed, I was like, "What? What's wrong?" It was. With, it was my daughter's father. Situation. And he was like, "You just peed on me," and I'm like, "No, I didn't." Like, oh my god, he but really it said that. Like it. <laughs> he said, "He's like, did you just pee on me?" I'm like, no. "He didn't he's know like, what yes, it was either." Like, yeah, no, nah, I know I what it, I know what it I was. I could feel if I peed. I didn't right. pee. And he's like, "Well, what is all of this?" And I still had no clue until later on in life, and then I'm like. Oh, well, how did you know what it was? was. Um, you hear about Shorty squirting and all that? You just waiting for it to happen to you. Is it? So that time, I was, <laughs> no. you know what I'm saying? Beast and trying to make sure. Yeah. And then once it happened, it was like, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> so did you drop the pen? The what? Did you drop the pen? The pen? Yeah. What do I mean? Did you drop the pen? Did you go back to that same spot and make it happen again? Of course. Because yes. that's what you got to do. I like that. Drop the pen. That's nice. Drop the pen. Yes, yeah. Absolutely. When you, oh when you make a girl squirt, because everybody's <laughs> body is different. Every woman's yeah, body is different. True. So once you find that button or whatever you want to call it, then you I drop the pen so you don't have to go back and get that. Yeah, I like yeah. that. No, like that's so <laughs> funny. That's so funny. You know, my oh, you my favorite lover, he go, he knows the spot. Like, he puts me in a certain position and he gets lover. it, like, Right on time mm-hmm. and God's timing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, that's, that's dangerous. When, once y'all learn yeah, each other's God's bodies, plan. that's, that's <laughs> when it gets dangerous. Mm-hmm. Once when you know what that button is or what, you know what I'm saying? It makes it so that's what you did. He dropped the pen. Dropped the pen. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, have you ever had a sugar mama? You know. <laughs> he doesn't kiss, he doesn't kiss and tell. Come on, guys. Yeah. You have to let us know. No, I mean, not per se. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> what like you that, mean, I not guess. per se? You got to expand on that. Like, have you had somebody, like, take care of you, finance, buy you things, look out for you? Um, Something like that. Something like that. Yeah. Ish. Yeah. <laughs> so you look like you enjoyed it. <laughs> well, you know. You do your thing and then they do their thing. Well, how can you not enjoy something like that? I don't know. Was she good looking woman too? I enjoy was she good looking? Yeah. 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 Everybody I mean, loves some being... people, you know, because like... what? <laughs> there's a lot of people that mess with people that got money, but they're not necessarily good looking people, you know? Nah. She was just fired. She was doing a thing, and then she just ended up being... She just ended up lying. If you, you know what I'm saying? You fucking the shit out of shorty. Just... Yeah. I don't know how to... Just, you know, I don't want to sound no way, but you know what I'm saying? It wasn't like... Was she older than you? Yeah. She got, yeah. Significantly? Oh, yeah. Yeah, sugar mama. I'm not for sure. Yeah, we had a sugar, <laughs> yeah. Mama. sugar mama. It just sunk. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's funny, like, like <laughs> all the young guys, they all want older women, and then. Then, the, then when they get older and when younger women. Right. It, it's right. It's switches so weird. It switches up, mm-hmm. right? That's mm-hmm. crazy. So, what kind of things did you get? <laughs> 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 yeah, not gonna let it go. He was like, You see these sneakers? <laughs> you wanna get some mm-hmm. details? <laughs> um. Yeah, you know nothing. You know nothing important. Just you know, just vibes. That's it. We got even good. <laughs> he got what he needed. Clearly. Yeah. You like? I'm not talking about it. You know. She's still around. Nah. I don't know. No. You miss her? I miss, no. You know what I want to ask you? Okay. Love the question. So, how do you get rid of a side piece? Like, let's just say. Cause you did have that song "Breathe," right? And we were talking about that. Oh yeah, that's scandal. That is. Oh yeah. That's a scandal, honey. That breathe. Okay, so and but this happens a lot. Okay, maybe you're on a little break. You talking yeah. to another chick. Yeah. And then you can't get rid of her, and right. that happens a lot. And then she's threatening you. I'm gonna put these. I'm gonna do this. Doing you got your the girl. Most, yeah. Right. So, 
for advice out there, because I'm sure a lot of people go through this, right? If you happen to cheat, step out, or maybe start dating somebody else while you're on a break, but now you want to end it and they're not trying to let it happen. They're threatening you. They're obsessed with you. They're not leaving you alone. What can you do? Well, let's just, let's see what, first of all, what you did. <laughs> what did happen? Nah, in situations like that. <laughs> and then we'll- <laughs> there's just no easy there's no easy way to end that it's just like miss we not it's, it's not happening shorty you know what I'm saying you knew what it was from before you know the vibe you know what's going on you know what I'm saying you know it was a break you know it was a break I know it was a break let's not be you know what I'm saying let's not let's not act no way let's be let's be honest here so you doing all this for what cause I be keeping it 100 so it's like you doing all this for what for real relax but then you still nervous Nervous enough that she might tell because you know you don't want to tell what breathe is not about cheating, it's literally about the space in between the break. So it's like, the we space, was, yeah, it were. If we was on a break, what about that? Or we thought it was over, or whatever, like that. And I did my thing, or whatever, I could keep it a buck. So I'm not fearful that sh- that my shorty's gonna find out that I has my during the break. I'm not fearful of that. She probably know already. Be so you're doing the, the most again for what. For real. I, guess that's, I suppose it's a little different if you mm-hmm. both agree, okay, we're going to take a break from this relationship. That's very different than, you know, cheating. Yeah, if say, it's cheating, right? like you got to cut off one of those. Sometimes it'd be murky, though, because guys will act yeah. like y'all was on a break, but you really weren't. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you get in an argument, you'd be like, I hate you. I'm not fucking with you. So and then put the, the next day the you're with somebody else. Like we was on a break. So if y'all were on a break and she had said situation, mm-hmm. how would you feel about it? Well, I'm tight. Right. <laughs> you gotta be transparent, like. But I mean, I'm gonna understand. I'm gonna understand it though. You know what I'm saying? Especially if, especially if we both decide like together, like, all right, we're gonna take a break. Mm-hmm. I was included in that decision making, so I have to know what comes with that. You know what I'm saying? Boom. But I'm gonna still be tight. You know what I'm saying? Somebody's able to say. You know what I'm saying? But do you want to yeah. know? Like, if say y'all took a break, do you want her to tell you this is what I did? Um, it's tricky because as much as I low key don't want to know, it's like. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. Like you don't you just you just wanna know what's going on, especially if your name is really some shit for real. Like it's like I don't I gotta know who's who, who can say what about what, who you know what I'm saying? Like that's really it. It don't even be like a matter of me wanting to or sizing anybody. I just wanna know what's going on. Mm-hmm. My name means. So you're much. not caught off guard. Word. I feel like when you're on a break and it's something if it's something that the that your man is it's necessary for him to know, like somebody he knows or, or something like that, somebody right. in the circle or somebody mm-hmm. he could hear about. That's a little too close though. But I don't think the my circle. advice to people out there, when you're on a break, don't don't spill your tea. <laughs> don't don't, don't tell, tell them, them yeah, unless you that's like fair it. enough. That's fair enough. Right. Keep, your, to keep yourself to yourself unless it's gonna affect your relationship. Then if it's something he needs to know, it's different. If it's know? somebody I know or something like that, no funny shit. I need to know. You know what I'm saying? Don't be right. have, don't have me dapping nobody up. <laughs> but that, it shouldn't you know even don't be somebody me. you know. Exactly. It shouldn't have even gone that far. I'm so not even gonna hold you, like... Miss Shorty is different. You know what I'm saying? You never know. <laughs> or, Really and you know what? It depends also on the type of relationship, right? Some relationships, there's more transparency. So some people want to know, like, tell me everything. And some relationships, you know, the partner tells you, you know what? I don't I don't want to know. I'd rather not know. It'll hurt my feelings. So it mm. also, it varies on mm-hmm. the kind of relationship you have with the person. Some people are more communicative and some are just by nature more secretive and they're not comfortable. Mm. Secretive sharing, relationships you know? probably might not work. What do you think? Well, if both people, just some people, I guess, are more forthcoming. They want to know. They want to share. And other people have a relationship where they would prefer not to delve too deep into the details. So it depends on people's personalities. Some people are just more communicative. But, yeah, I I believe, you know, communication is really crucial to relationships. So, obviously, if there are secrets and lies, it's Mm -hmm. never going to work. In a perfect world, that's how I've always thought. Like you should be upfront about everything, but I've (laughs) come to regret, you know, telling on myself (laughs) (laughs) because you don't hear the end of it. If you're gonna still be Mm. with this person, like if you want to throw something in their face and you're never gonna be with them, then fine. But you know, if you want to be with somebody and you're like, yeah, I was fucking somebody in July when we were on a break, like I went to Aruba, met somebody, had sex. You'll never find out about it. Then keep that to yourself. They do say that when you tell somebody that you cheated and they wouldn't find out that is selfish and it's not even cheating because we were you were on a break we were on a break so, so that's different um, yeah yeah break the rules is different and then so, yeah. every time we get into a little discussion I'm hearing about <laughs> the guy I was fucking with in July now Kaka, let me ask you this have you ever broke up with the girl on purpose just so you could do something else like started an argument no so you could dab out cause you know guys be doing that girls that's do that petty. too they start arguments <laughs> look at Dr. Z 
Yeah, I mean, like we were all sometimes dishonest to ourselves too. That's the way it works. You gotta think too. of a topic to start an argument. I'm not even that guy. If I'm not, even, yeah, nah. And people, some people are cowardly. They just they can't break up, so they'll they'll come up or they'll find a way to sabotage the relationship. Right. <laughs> honest. So I feel like can't. guys do that. They sabotage yeah. the relationship. Absolutely. They don't want to nah. break up with you because they don't want so to get they they down. Fucked up until yeah. you break up with them. I agree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's... nah, but then after she gonna have mad bad shit to say about. After breakups, I don't want nobody having nothing bad to say about me. It uh. needs to be respect. Nah, no funny shit though. You think all I'm your exes like all way. your exes would say nice things about you? To the most, for the most part, yeah, actually, yeah. Okay, it's like, that's it's like I feel like it, 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 when I end it, I feel like especially if I keep it a buck. If I say, listen, I'm not gonna hold you. We just don't mesh. This is not gonna work. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Like we, we wasting our time. We going I'm back. so mad if someone broke up with me like that. I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> no, as opposed to me starting <laughs> arguments and doing little stuff, that's a whole bunch of petty. That's you know what I'm saying. Not female. I don't want to say women tendency. I don't want to because I feel like everything. They I try to cancel everybody over everything. <clears throat> All I'm saying is I feel like I'd rather be straightforward. You know what I'm saying? As Honesty opposed is to, the best oh, it's policy. Best. Yeah. Doing the most communication. Like, yeah, nah. This yeah. don't work. You're you not know, and there's also a difference. You could be honest but tactful and gentle. I mean, some people think honest means kind of rude, right? But you right. could you say be, it in a nice way. Yeah. You could be, yeah. There's mm -hmm. a, a nice way to to end the relationship. It's always, I you gotta know who you're dealing with before yeah. you start talking on yourself. Just be careful who you're dealing with. I know. So you know, there's a difference saying, you know, I did. I, you know, when we were on, on, we were taking a break. I slept with someone versus giving them like the juicy details. Right. right. <laughs> Man, we did in the shower. We use no condom. Right. Oh my God. <laughs> I just had an abortion. Three days ago, <laughs> and he was so much better <laughs> right. than you. That thing was huge. Oh. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Don't tell, you and don't tell don't tell that. <laughs> I think that it really killed him. Like, I was pregnant, but the baby's gone now. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that that could have been, like been yours. Could have been his. I don't know. Yes. Sure. I, don't, I don't know if it was yours or not, but yeah. like, we'll never honesty. know now. Yeah, you guys feel. We'll never know now that it's gone. Now, like, do you have any regrets? I like you have a song. Mm -hmm. One more chance. Like, you wrote the song. What <laughs> nah, you want me to do? Nah, that's fine. They guys listening to the other vibes. That's dope. Mm -hmm. okay, everybody be knowing Gala, yeah, so that's dope. Right. So let's talk about that for a second, though, because it seemed like you did some things. You had some regrets. Is that a true story? <clears throat> Uh, I mean, no. Nah, it, it was inspired. It was inspired by a whole just a collection of different moves and stuff like that. But yeah, I mean, it's happened a couple of times. You know what I'm saying? You did your whatever like that, and you like, all right. <laughs> we're we're you're dragging it now. We already did the apology. I don't know how many times I got to apologize. What you, what else you want? Like what what do you want now? See, that's what? the problem when your guys mess up. You act like we dragging it. How many times I got to apologize? <laughs> if you mess up, I feel like forgive me and done, or no, leave or leave me alone. Tell and me done. how to process my feeling. That does he help us? Well, the, the thing is also <laughs> like right. when I talk of, like when people talk of apology, I say there is like a genuine apology, and a mm -hmm. genuine apology is not I'm sorry I did it, but we wouldn't know why you wouldn't do it again, right? So it's like. <laughs> You think, okay, he did it, but what prevents me if I get back together from this cycle repeating itself? So I always say when you when you apologize, say, well, this is this is it's like you it's like three R's. It has to be remorse and regret. Like I feel bad that I did it. What's the last R, Miss? You know, and the, you know what I mean. Remorse, regret, and what's the last? Okay, R? Remor remorse, regret, and uh, restitution, meaning. Make it oh, up awesome. to me. I was going to guess restitution. Yeah. <laughs> yeah like, <laughs> rehabilitation. Like, what <laughs> Rest like, what are you gonna, rehabilitation? Like, how do I know you've changed and you're not going to do that again? You know what I mean? Like, if, you can't so now, apologize after I've done and be that, like, so you're dragging it. No, nah, I'm saying, after I've done all that, you know what I'm saying, I show yeah. you how I'm a chain, I show you how I'm serious and all of that and whoop, whoop, whoop. Yeah. After that, forgive me and done, or left yeah. me alone and done. Either exactly. way, exactly. After well, I say after a genuine apology where you you express remorse, regret, the rehabilitation. Meaning, I've changed. Like this, I feel bad. I've changed, and I'm never gonna do that again. Whatever it is, whether you yelled or whether you didn't call her all night, whatever, whatever it is that, that drives women crazy, right? Mm. Um, but we want to know that this is not going to happen again. But yes, after that, the person says, okay, apology accepted and it should never be brought up again. Mm -hmm. See what I mean? But but the apology is to be genuine. I think a, a lot of women feel like guys just apologize. It's, it's right. just... Right. And then they feel... Yeah, yeah. Really and then they just feel like, it. I apologize, that's it. Like, move on. But sometimes it's not that easy. You do got to kind of better. Yeah, nah, nah. You want to like, know you have remorse. To you you gotta feel make regret. Sure. Yeah, nah. Do all the flash shit. You got to do the whole... Trust me, I know. You know what I'm saying? You got to really... If you want to apologize, you gotta have the actions to follow all that. All I'm saying is after right on, you know what I'm saying? I'm not I'm not apologizing for two, for a month straight. Two what? months, three a month, months straight. That's nothing. 
And <laughs> what? You mean you're you not know, gonna do I the Kobe like Bryant? Oh, I feel like it's long time. I feel like apologizing. when a man apologizes, I'm really grateful because men don't apologize. They, don't. they yeah, just that's what true. they do that's is they buy true. you a purse or they pay your rent or something. Like Kobe Bryant just buys an sex. expensive ring. You know? <laughs> that really, really they don't apologize. <laughs> so if, when a I'm man apologizes, apologize. I'm grateful for it. So I, I try not true. to stretch it. Mm. <laughs> Don't but stretch you it. know, women, we have like we have like funny hormones and shit might pop up one morning. Mercury, <laughs> Mercury might be in retrograde. <laughs> not much. It's like today. <laughs> we ended up like right. right. It uh, went uh, today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, I just think, okay, yes, apologize, and you know, I also feel like if you accept it too fast, then why would he stop doing it? Like sometimes yeah, you gotta like well, yeah, you gotta, gotta make them put their this foot is into the, the, the restitution yeah, rehabilitation yeah, part, right? Mm -hmm. So you gotta like, what are you gonna do to make it up to me? Right? <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. are you gonna wash the dishes for the rest of the month because of blah blah blah, whatever you did? He's like, I hire somebody to do that. But that's yeah. like a punishment, poor <laughs> thing. I'm not gonna like make you, it to the dishes. You want to see that there is actual genuine regret, and you know. Right. What do you think is easier, being in a relationship or being single for you? Um. Probably being in a relationship. Uh, I feel like both of them are fairly simple for their own reasons. But probably being in a relationship is probably easier, though, for sure. Mm -hmm. Because when you're, in, when you're in a relationship, you already know shorty name every time. You know her name every time. You know what I'm saying? Word. There's no... <laughs> you know her buttons. You, come on. You're already, Hello with the button and all that. What you said? The you pin and all that. Yeah, yeah. Nah, once y'all yeah. learn each other's body... The one y'all learn yeah. each other's body is dangerous. Mm -hmm. Y'all know. You already know what type of food, whatever like that. You start to learn her better, whatever like that. Y'all can move... You know what I'm saying? How y'all move. But when you're single, you got to think about this. What makes her tick was this. Was the, you got to move a little. It's a, it's a lot going on. But I feel it's like stressful I have less to be headaches when yeah. I'm single. But like it's just so much simpler just being with one person. It's just yeah, so like you don't have like, to juggle text messages. Like it's just so much simpler just having that one person that go to. It's that's what I'm so saying. It's both simple for different reasons. Because I know because when, when you're single... There's not much. Yeah, but being single like, is cool too. It's okay. And you're young and you're popping. So yeah. it might be right. a little hard a to be yeah. in a relationship because imagine like you're out all night, you're working, you're doing this, you're on the road. Mm -hmm. That's hard too to explain to somebody you're in a relationship yeah, with. Yeah, it's too much to talk about, too much to explain and all that. But it's just, you know what I'm saying? You know you know exactly who you fucking, you know exactly. When you, when you either bring her on the tour with you or go, go back home and do whatever, you already know exactly what's going on. You just know what's going on. What, there's too many question marks when, you, when you're doing the, you know what I'm saying? When you're just when you dating. Around, doing mm -hmm. whatever. Have but, you, you ever know, been cheated on? Cheated on? Not that I know of. Right. So, you know. Oh, you never <laughs> caught anybody cheating on you. <laughs> She's saying, yes, you have, but you just haven't caught No, me. I don't no know. If he's, I don't know. I'm just saying. He's never I haven't been really been that. that many relationships, so it's not even like I'm... So you have you had your heart broken? Um, Yeah, but it wasn't... I it wasn't, wasn't in a, relationship. a cheating thing. Yeah, nah. I was, just, I was single and just learning how this shit work. Oh. That was it. That's, that's it. life. Life is oh, all yeah. about experiences. Yeah. Yeah. So you got disappointed. So, yeah, it's like I wasn't... this. I wasn't dating these shorties or whatever, but it was like, all right, you know what I'm saying? We're, you know what I'm saying? We're talk I, th I like you, and I thought you like me. Damn, what was, what was that? What the hell was that? That was crazy. All right, whatever. I but then it's like, copy, no problem. Now I know how to move. Right. Listen, Larry. No problem. Aww, no but how many relationships happens. have you been in? In total, I'll say probably like two, three, maybe. I knew you was going to okay. say the two. The three, that's the question. <laughs> two and a possible. Two and a possible. You know I mean? Two and a possible. Two and a possible. <laughs> but. Yeah. All right. Now, um, for you, Dr. Z, I want to ask you a couple of questions sure. too. Because none of us, book. has anybody here ever been to the Playboy Mansion? No. No. Okay. So you were a Playboy Playmate. What really <laughs> went on at the Playboy Mansion? Like, well, the funny part is when I was a Playboy Playmate, when I first became, half was married. Mm -hmm. And at that time, it was kind of quiet, right? Not much going on because his, his, um, ex-wife Kimberly she was kind of scary we all scared of her so you know there wasn't that much partying going on or anything now eventually he got he, they got divorced I guess she I don't know the exact details of what ha went on there and then he was back again now with That's the vengeance the party started. yeah the party restarted <laughs> Viagra kicked in you know Ooh. it was like he was a big you know big uh, spokesperson for Viagra and uh, so then <laughs> we had some great parties so they mm -hmm. had like Midsummer's Night Dream was awesome because all the women would wear lingerie and men wear pajamas 
that was one of the biggest parties. But uh, yeah, that was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, a lot of celebrities, a lot of, um, you know, lots, lots of, Lots, lots of great stuff. So I remember that from the reality show. Yeah, the Midsummer Night Stream parties. Yeah. So it's a, it's a big difference. Like I said, at the beginning, it was very quiet. In fact, I remember they changed the sign from Playmates and Play to Kids at Play. And then he got divorced. He bought a house next door, and they changed it back to Playmates at Play. <laughs> so I was like, okay. And yeah, and when I when okay. I first became a playmate, we had this media training, and they said to us, well, if they ask. Anything about half and parties, you have to say, leopards do change their spots. He's a family man now. He oh, doesn't God. hit on, you know, he's totally loyal. So we had this like propaganda media training. We're like, okay, okay. And then, of course, the Was leopard he, is back. Yeah, right. with it wasn't going to work. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, so the parties were back. I was never part of his group because remember, I lived on the East Coast. I never lived in LA. Mm -hmm. I would come and stay there in the guest house, usually for a few weeks at a time. We could stay at any time. Um, they are not at the mansion itself at the guest house. Um, but, uh, so I was never part of like the group. How are the other girls to you? I mean, most girls were actually pretty nice, but I'm, you know, I'm, I'm like different cause I'm Ukrainian. I'm not like, you know, I'm not like the LA kind of girl. So I wasn't, how can I say, I, I was never part of all the drama, I wasn't getting involved. I wasn't chasing the same celebrities. I wasn't. So they were pretty nice to me. I, but there were a lot of cat fights for the ones that sort of competed for the same resources, mm. competed for half and stuff. But I was never, I sort of, you know, stayed to myself. So I was, they were very friendly to me. Financially, how was that too? Like, was he generous or? Um, you, you know, it was like if you lived there, I think the allowance was about like 10000 a month. But I, like I said, I never lived. I was never part of it. I would go okay. stay there. And mm -hmm. then we, um, when I first posed, and this is, you know, I'm old. So this is, we're going into the 90s. It was 25000 for the centerfold at that time. And then, you know, in the, it, when we got into the new millennium, they started paying more for like promotions and appearances. It was like a couple of grand a day. But the girls that stayed at the mansion got a nice allowance who lived there actually and attended all the parties and everything. And they got all the hair done, everything by the same people. So, it was, I mean, it was great. It was a great gig for them. You know, a lot of people don't have conventional relationships. I just saw Will Smith did an interview and he was talking about him and Jada and mm. how a lot of her um, family members didn't have conventional relationships. Do you think, um, Capella, you could see yourself in a one-on-one -on -one marriage monogamous or do you think that that's just... Yeah, hell yeah. Well, when it's time for that marriage, but for that chapter, I'm getting married, married. I'm trying to marry the kids, the whole vibe. Or... Mm -hmm. And you would but never that's... be, you could see yourself with one woman for the rest of your life. Um, no, 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 I, just, I just had that, you know what I'm saying? I just had to refresh the vibe, make sure I'm saying. <laughs> no, nah, I feel like, yeah, I, no funny shit. I feel like during that, like that chapter or whatever, like that, I don't mind seeing the world with somebody and the whole growing old, just you know what I'm saying? Just you know, that whole vibe, whatever, like that. When you get there, yeah, when I get there, word, of course. Well, that is a you're married, right. Are you or I I'm, not, I'm not married anymore. I was married though for a long oh. time. I was married for twenty years. Okay, he's a therapist also. He yeah. was, yeah. So did you guys have a traditional like just us, nobody sees anybody else relationship? Well, we um we did have a few threesomes along the way. Which okay, was always fun. Spicy. it was always my idea. It was yes, always your idea. Yeah. That's the rule of a threesome. The woman has to pick. Yeah. So, um, and I enjoyed it. Usually it was my rule was like vacations when you go on vacation because you don't want to do it. Like you don't want to run into the people later. Like if yeah. you're going to do swinging or whatever, it's awkward if it's like <laughs> somebody, yeah. you know, lives down your street. So, the, it, so if you're going vacations, Never that's a good time again. to do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a good time to, to, you know, invite other people because you're never going to see them again. Well, threesomes, Capella. <laughs> it was a nice lead right, right. I feel like listening to your music There's been some threesomes Yeah Three, four It's a lot going on Four Five? is the most? Mm, I mean technically Because I mean There's been five But I feel like It was it was more four-ish though Why? Because like, they was with each other? Yeah that one was just She was just Four and a possible <laughs> Four and a possible oh, yeah. Possible yeah. alternate Four <laughs> I had a situation like that before. Wait. We talk about it all the time. Did you mm. feel left out or something? I need some left new stories. Left out has four shorties. <laughs> Y'all take care of her. Y'all do her thing. She has the weakest link. Not a weakest. I want to stand. That's crazy. <laughs> I didn't mean like weakest link. There was a lot of pressure. But it was like. Guy, you know? It is a lot of pressure. Yeah, so <laughs> let me ask you. Because no, when crazy. I, when no, I, I didn't had mean that situation. <laughs> when, when I had a similar oh, situation, no. it was five women and one man. 
He only had sex with one of them. We all was messing around with each other, and he had sex with one girl. Why he only fuck with it? Why he did that? I don't. I mean, that's just how it happened. I'm just curious. It's just how it happened. But I would not have had sex with him because we were like really close friends, and I just would not. So you was just there. I mean, it happened at my house. It was my idea. Understood. But I wasn't gonna like even if he tried, I'd be like, now nigga, it's four other bitches in here. Leave me the fuck alone. Like Mm -hmm. it wouldn't went down with us because (laughs) I get it. We just not. You know what I'm saying? I was just occupied. I like not occupied, but it was just like yeah, nah. This it's four of y'all here. So did you have (laughs) sex with all four of them? Is the question? No, of course. I yeah, you know what I'm saying. Of course, for a second. Yeah, but that 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 (laughs) last one though, I was definitely tending to the. You know what I'm saying? They but had to the go possible, back over there. yeah, she the just possible, yeah. But she, you know what I'm saying, she came, she did her thing a couple times, but that was because you know she was telling so the main person for you. That's like this is nah, who I'm nah, here nah, with. Nah, no, 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 no. So this was just a random group of group. Yeah, not random, Ease. but. <laughs> So there's never one that, okay, no, so in your head, is there ever one you like more than the rest? Like if you have a threesome or a foursome, is it ever like I prefer this one, but. Um, to an extent, because I mean, there's always gonna be one that's like the most fire. So, just did you have a threesome within these two relationships that you had? No, nah. no. So it's always been outside of a relationship. Yeah. You're just doing. Your I thing. mean, the shows that we talking, they don't be like, yeah. If because again, like I said, it's better if it's the girls, the girls idea, I did. Because yeah. I feel like as a as a dude, as a nigga, if I'm like, if I tell a show you like, yo, yo, we should do a threes. I don't want to look no way like looking like I want to fuck shorty or nothing like that. I'd rather you do whatever like that so it's no, ah, oh, good. That's what you want to do? All right, let's do it. Nah, it works. Let's do what I'm trying to do. It's it. your idea, great. Yeah, let's nah, it works. But you know, I get me caught up and shit like that. Great know. idea. It always but, has to be the woman's idea. So you could be with somebody that doesn't do threesomes. Yeah, I'm not mad at that. It's all good. Um, hold on. <laughs> his voice got high. That's how I do it. I didn't really, really, really do that. <laughs> I don't mind. I wouldn't mind it, mind it, but it's like you know, yo, <laughs> never. <laughs> she was like, All right. you know what I'm saying? Like after a while, you know what I'm saying? We already, we did the whole balcony vibe. We fucked, I did the rose petal. I did everything. I did I'm the list is the crazy. We fucked club. everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like now what's it's left? like you not, not not what's left. It's just like you not, you not saying, oh damn, he's running the shit out of me. I want to. Eh? You know what I'm saying? I don't want to bring it. Up. I said you're not even. Well, you know, sometimes when you when you love somebody, you don't want to share them. And like, I understand if you're doing that. That's, all why, that that's understandable. So I'm understanding so. that side too. It's just the other side. The nigga side, just like Stephanie. Damn, Sharing is caring. I don't, okay. You know how I feel about that. I've had three sons too, but never in my relationships either. It's like with one of my homegirls, and I'm always the star of it. Yeah, no, you know what I mean? That I like have. I'm like a special guest appearance in the threesome. <laughs> well, three or four that I had, guest it was, starring. Stephanie it was Tanky. shorties right. that wanted to fuck. It was shorties that wanted to fuck whatever like that, and they know like they know each other, and they don't mind the fact that they both want to mm-hmm. fuck whatever like that. I, and yeah, they, that's different. Sharing is caring. You know what I'm saying? That point, I don't, like, oh, I don't be wanting to share. Like when I really friend, like a guy, I don't want to see him with another girl. Like you well, only that, do that to me, boy. Well, Dr. Z, did it affect your marriage in any way? No, that it was great. But mm-hmm. the thing is, if you have to get to the point where you really trust and you mm-hmm. you're like confident in his love and devotion to you, right? No, and some so, girls just like girls. Yeah, well, true. that's true. You know? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And and then you will get to the point. Like obviously, you can't be too early in the relationship. I mm-hmm. feel like if you're going to be in a relationship, you have to to have some time just for each other and to get on that solid ground. But no, I really enjoyed it. it was Could you great. be with the women if he wasn't around? Sure. And he didn't mind. What about, but he couldn't. Um, I mean, we got the open communication. So I probably would have been okay with that. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. But You're awesome, Dr. Z. Yeah, mm-hmm. very open-minded. <laughs> look, it's very like, open-minded. the way I look at it. Okay, it's She's like, great. say you love your re- this restaurant and you love everything on the menu. But if you're told for the rest of your life, you have to eat only at this restaurant. It's mm. like a five-star restaurant. It has all your favorite Eventually, you're going to get dishes. tired of Eventually, it. Eventually, you'll be like checking out McDonald's. You'll be like, Not like, McDonald's, girl. Yeah. So <laughs> it needs to be another five-star restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> Applebee's. But, but girl, I mean, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when you think of it as like for the rest of your life that's all you so I think when you kind of like keep an open mind it's it's just an easier thing and, and you keep communication mm-hmm. open it's it's kind of an easier thing to mentally handle right the fact that 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 monogamy doesn't won't become monotony because people live a long life now so if you you know get married in your 20s i mean can you like be with someone for 60 years you know it's a long yeah. only one someone like 
I think it sounds amazing. Me too. Yeah, I'm not like now that you're saying it. I feel like I'm supposed to be mad at that idea, but I'm I feel like now you saying it doesn't like it's <laughs> not making that, me I not mean, just I like that idea even more. Like you know what I'm saying, but you know, I mean, spice it up every now 40 and then. Is different. I guess <clears throat> people as they get older and they've experienced everything, it's a little bit easier. But I actually read like the swingers have the best marriages because they have a sense of trust and mm. they're con- you know they they have those little adventures, but those adventures are together. That so takes a lot of trust. Share. It takes a lot, right? Yeah. Because, Yo, real you know, quick, I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Can y'all walk me through what the whole swinger thing is, real quick? Because what the like, what is that? Because I'm I, I don't want to feel swapping as fuck out of here as much. Yeah, it's it's like what you mean swapping couples? So you so say mm-hmm. if me and her were a couple and y'all were a couple, we mm-hmm. all having sex with each other. Like I would have sex we with switch, you. Switch, she would switch, have sex switch. with her. Or him, if she was sometimes him. Sometimes him and him. Some, yeah, yeah, sometimes they never do know. bisexual. <laughs> sometimes, yeah, you know, it get a little freaky. Know. But yeah, that's what swinger. But yeah. it's an agreement of both couples. Yeah, so and you we're discuss boundaries in advance, right? right? So you say, okay, you can do this, but not that. And right. I'm uncomfortable. Like when you come, it. you have to come on. You know, right. Right. Word. whatever, yeah. whatever, whatever. That's people. The worst I gotta have a conversation with a nigga. Say you can't well, not decide my rules. You gotta come with me. You, nah, you don't want your man to come on the other girl. I gotta have a conversation Shit. with another nigga and say, all right, cool. Just don't nut in my shorty. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. This That's guy, you gotta set your boundaries. You gotta, you gotta lay out the rules. They gonna crazy with that swinger shit. They gonna crazy. I agree. And you know, there's swingers clubs where you can just go and like watch people. And some people just watch. They don't. They don't crazy. Just went to a swingers yeah. club party. Listen, in Atlanta, they have them Tokyo in Atlanta. Valentine. You be going, miss? Yes. Tokyo Valentine in Atlanta. You can just they, like go in there and people yeah, just be they have a whole swingers watch them. like community. You yeah. been to one before? No, not me. I've been, but not to that one. I've been. I'm from Philly, so I went to one in Philly years ago. But um, in Atlanta, there's one called Tokyo Valentine. I want to go just because I'm nasty, but I'm too famous for people to be like. Bitch, That's what I'm saying. I'm taking I feel my that. picture. Yeah, so. right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they have like maps. I'm gonna have to. No, but yeah, I'm gonna have to. Like they no, no, the, the, the person yeah. who, the person oh, who went to the party did like an eyes wide. What is it? Eyes, eyes wide, wide shut. Eyes yeah. wide shut. So, masquerade. I mean, some people, yeah, they will wear like just. But if I was stuff. to go to a string a swingers club, I, I wouldn't do anything. I just want to. I like and to some watch. people like the to person watch. who went yeah. to the party yeah, like that I'm talking about in Atlanta. She's pretty famous too, and. It was the same way for her. She was like, "Nope, I'm just here to watch. Like, I'm I'm too famous for this shit." Yeah, I but it was cool. Nobody, nobody bothered her. Like, it was cool. It's understandable. She's watching porn in person. Yeah, like, she she was just, her and her man was there, and they were just watching. And yeah, what I mean, that's a way to spice things up. I don't like, think my man would want to do that with me though. I would yeah, have to go no with my, my homegirl. Yeah, 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 there was nothing exactly. fire. I don't even want my boyfriend to want to do that. I'd be so annoyed. Like, let's go watch somebody else fuck. He's like, bitch. Groups yeah. of people, yeah. clusters it's of people like, have like a lot of. Yeah, yeah. Like, you don't watch porn though. You don't watch that gangbang porn Yo, or anything. Yo, I've been chilling. I really like now. That's my fave. Gangbang porn. Yes, that's my fave. Word. Yeah, the more people, the merrier. Mm. And I like, and, and I'm not even. I, I like the gay porn. I yeah. like. I like, I like for the men orgies. to be with each other and the women, everybody's just <laughs> yeah. having a good time. Bisexual orgies is everybody. It's like the money of them. Fire. I don't know what you're talking about. I think we sent each other a couple clips too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me, and, yeah. me and G always have the same porn taste. <laughs> yes. And we switch. And it's like we somehow always switch together. Mm, so no, weird. I like to watch things I, I haven't done. Mm-hmm. And I've done mm-hmm. that Same. too. So wait, what That's haven't what you? Like. Okay, Dr. Z, what like haven't fisting. you done? I was about to say, well, you watch I actually never had a gangbang. Have you done? Yeah. I like okay. to watch it for that mm-hmm. reason because I've never Have done. Have I done fisting? Same. F- yeah, right. You've you done what, fisting. What am I? Um, no, I've, I haven't. I've tried. This, is, this doesn't work for me. I'm just okay, too see, small for that. I'm just too small for that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you do have some videos available. Yeah, I do. Well, it's funny because I just started OnlyFans during pandemic, and then I went and I did. I've always done over the years. Just you know, I've done all the lesbian porn, and uh, I've done my first uh, boy girl scene, but it was four girls and one guy. Okay. Oh, yeah. I just was like, we did the reverse gang. Bang. <laughs> so we like ganged up on him. So it was Johnny sins mm-hmm. and it was Brittany Andrews and I, and two other girls. So we were, I was very impressed though, because he, he actually like, and we, this is for our only fans for, you know, we all exchanged it, but it was like, he went for, I mean, I couldn't believe for like two hours, four Ooh. girls. How did That's he do that? Did he take yeah. that yeah. medicine that she was have. talking about? It's but impressive. Yeah, it's not, he took some medicine or all that was missed. You know, it's not like he said no, but who knows? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, but it was I impressive. Mean. Like he, and it was like, stop, go, you know, because Britney's kind of control freak and she has um, a degree from New York Film Academy. Academy, so she had it all orchestrated. She's like, you go there, oh, and you go there, and you sit on this face, and you and and he. I was like, he was like shit. <laughs> you yeah, do have some face sitting porn. 
porn, don't you? What's that? Yeah, face sitting porn. Yes, yes. yes. But but this is the most recent. I just did this like a, a couple of like a couple of months ago in Las Vegas, and she just had it all scripted. And I'm like, just let the, the guy like let us just have fun. She's like, no, no. I know how gotta, it looks. It's this is, this and is it how came out the, right. It came out really good. Yeah. Like you know when you're shooting, like you don't. I guess you need to pose a certain way mm-hmm. for the camera and stuff. Right. So she knew what she was doing. It came out amazing. But in the moment, we were all annoyed because she was like moving us like pawns. Yeah, you like, can't even do it. And you have to stop, move. I'm like, sit here, go there. She's got nothing in your face. But it was a lot of fun. I it bet. was like the first time I did I was kind of nervous because I've never, like I've done tons of lesbian porn over the you know, 20 years of lesbian porn. But I'm like, I don't know how this is going to turn out. But it was, he was great too. I could see why women love him, Johnny. So you would do more? I totally want to do more. Okay. <laughs> so nice. you you like that. That. okay. It's so it was so fun. Do you like when guys come a lot? Sure. I mean like if it's a lot. Uh well I, the thing is like Brittany was like, okay, and here's how you're gonna come and this is where we're gonna be. And this is and he I just couldn't believe how like he was just so trained. Like, how do you go for so long? Stop, go move. He was reading but, them books. I know. And then she was like, Don't get any of it on our faces. <laughs> we it can't be on our faces because we can't because we're shooting another scene and I don't want to touch up makeup. So, yeah. right. so he's like yeah. his aim was perfect. Does too. it matter if the time is like clear or cloudy? <laughs> I think it depends on how, you know, it depends on the, like, diet. the diet and how yeah. much you, the water they drink. And how much they've actually... So why would it be clear, kind of? and- the, more, the more liquids you drink, it's more clear, obviously. Okay. And I think the times is ejaculation. I mean, you know, all kinds of stuff. All sorts of so if it come out good. looking like ice, he dehydrated? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you drink lots of water. Not you want like lots ice. of got it. <laughs> water is the key. Do you look so, at your cum to see what it looks like? Like when it comes do out? You, do, do you, you like observe it? it? I mean, I guess it'd be a vibe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what I'm doing? Like, <laughs> like, yeah. I want to see it. It's you said you want to see it? Yeah. I mean, you know. Me depends. too. I, I want to see, see it too. Yeah. You said Same. that like you were propositioning him. So then no, you like no, the vibe. I want to see it. I don't know. You talking about? I want to see it. I'm just saying. In that, in that moment, <laughs> yeah. I would yeah, like I to see, see what it's looking like. Me too. Like if I don't swallow it, Mm. Then where is it? Yeah, if or I don't inside swallow, you. I so you would too. rather? Would you rather come inside someone in her mouth or on her? If you had to choose, um, it depends on the shorty. Where? Because like, there's some no, shorties. What's your preference? Yeah, as a man, what feels best? Like, does it feel different each way? Yeah, hell yeah. It so depends, which depends one on the. the sh- it depends on the shorty. Because there's certain. I'm dead. I swear to God, there's certain shorties. The face be so far. It's like, yo, you just want. You know what I'm saying? And then it's it just feel. <laughs> it just. It just. I don't know how to describe it. I'm trying to be honest. Word. And there's some shorty, you know what I'm saying? That it's like, it, or there was a time y- y'all really in the vibe going Making crazy or like that. Then you want to yeah, leave so it you want to just leave the whole, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. What if she asks for it? She asks for it where? Ask for it where, yeah. Hey. Where she wants it. Like if she asks, Come at me, come on my face, come oh, on this yeah, ass, no, respe- come on this titties. No, I'm going to respect the vibe, not a word. I'm gonna respect it. It's whatever you want to miss, not trust me. He's accommodating. He's accommodating. Nah, for real. Especially nice. if she got, like, she know where she was. I'm not, I'm not going to mess up that moment for you, miss. What if, somebody, what if it's somebody you don't like that much and she's like, come inside me? That's how for baby. No. <laughs> no. If it's somebody you don't like that much, you're not even, <laughs> no. you're not even fucking her without a girl. Give me a kiss. It's over. Oh nah, coming. Oh no. If you say it's on the face, whatever like that, you suggesting the comments. Like, yeah, no. Not if we not even know. <laughs> Are there Miss. some things that automatically make you go soft? Like if something happens, or um, like what are some things that annoy you in the bedroom? Annoy me. Um, I don't know. I was gonna say like certain types of moons, but it's just. Too much noise, the wrong noise. It sounds fake. Not shut up. Oh, that was crazy. All right. It's just like. When she talks too much. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Nah, but you just, no one is just like. Or when you're some, some people know it, moans is just annoying. <laughs> like just the tone of the vibe. Yeah. <laughs> Like it's just you know what I'm saying. Like I understand I'm I'm oh, I'm wild. I know like, I'm wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some, some girls watch porn and they feel like that they're supposed to sound like oh, is it just scream really loud? Right. So they kind of like fake. Like what are you they doing? Like, oh, daddy. Uh, that's what they sound like. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, Brittany. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing? Do you like that, daddy? What? Daddy. Um, it depends. There's certain shorties that say it, and it's just like. Or that's me. Like and then there's some shorties that's just like, please, no, you don't get, you don't gotta go there, miss. It's all good. Is it weird if you're having sex with a girl and she calls you by your stage name? Nah, because most of them know me as that. So you know what I'm saying? I understand it. 
Either you're not gonna don't call me my real name. You don't know you by my real name. You call me like, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> otherwise, yeah, it work. I feel like my stage name sounds nice, Moan. Okay. You feel me? So it works out either way. What if she calls you Mr. Gray? <laughs> Mr. Gray is fire. Sometimes <laughs> that that does sound fire. it depends on the That's shorty. giving it's giving fifty shades. That's oh, giving very shades. Sometimes it can be four seconds. Oh my god! Fifty shades. Yeah, that's definitely Mr. Gray. Sometimes it works. Sometimes before even fucking just just a good morning. You might need to you might need to jot that down. You might need to jot that down for a somebody in here. Miss is there because I love it. Should be. When did the name Capella Gray come about? On Italian show, they put me on. So it means residence of musical excellence. So it's wherever the fire music be at. So instead of saying we're going to the church or the cathedral or the concert, we're going to the Capella. Nice. Oh, that's cool. Or, and, that's, and then the gray yeah. part? That's my dad's last name. So. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's a cool last name. Yeah, that's yeah, dope. Got a great fire. Yeah, that was mm-hmm. thought, that's thoughtful. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. dope. Capella Gray. It works yeah. out. Mm-hmm. The way you put it together. I, mm-hmm. I'm yeah. Yeah. That's cool. yeah. But you can't be Curtis Jackson. <laughs> Curtis Jackson's crazy. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. <laughs> right. It's yeah. over. But he's <laughs> like, for Curtis Jackson. That name's taken. And then you have a song with Russ right now, so that's big, and we like yeah, that. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. kind of crazy. Yeah. How did that happen? Um, that all the other features have. I'm just out of, he re, he reached out. Actually, yeah, I was kind of fired. I'm not gonna lie. He reached out, and I was in Atlanta, and I was like, "Yo, I'm in Atlanta," and he was like, "Yo, slide." And I pulled up to the crib, and we made some history. He's so, nice. I'm not gonna lie. Russ is one of the people in the industry that I could say is dumb nice. Like, he's dumb fucking nice. We got into the studio. He's laying down melodies like it's nothing. He's doing whatever like it's nothing. Like, there's a couple of people. Like, I'm not going to lie. Being in this industry, there's a couple of people that's burgers. Like, you meet them in person, you idolize them, and you see they're just burgers in Isn't person. that so disappointing? Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Like, wow. You're this. But there's certain people, like, I'll say Russ, Cranium. There's a couple of them that's oh, just we, Oh, we love Cranium. Cranium. He's done lip service. Mm-hmm. There's something wrong with Cranium. He's dumb nice. Yeah, he is. Dumb nice. So, yeah, with Russ, that shit's going crazy. Now, he dro- we dropped it like a week later. I love that Russ is so, like, his energy, like, he just don't give a fuck. He do what he want to do. So, as soon as we finished it, as soon as it was mixed, he was like, all right, we're going to drop it. I was like, when? He said, tomorrow. I was like, yeah, let's do it. It's a movie. It's lit. That's how I move. Word. Do whatever the fuck we want to do. That's good. That's a nice call to get. Russ is really talented. Mm-hmm, yeah. yeah. What is who are some other people that have been um sliding in your DMs trying to hit you up to do music? Um everybody, miss. I'm not gonna lie. I don't wanna like name out everybody because I don't want to make All right, anybody. But who do you want to work with that has hit you up? Um that you were so excited. Cause you know, I don't care no matter what, because for all of us, I still get excited like when certain people hit me. So I'm sure there's people that you see that and you like, oh shit, I gotta we gotta make this happen. It's amazing. Everybody, and I've been linked with everybody. Like it sounds really vague in the politically correct response. I get it, but like I really, I want to have a run like Little Wayne, T Pain, where I'm like you sprinkling me on every song like Parsley. I want to work with everybody. Either That's hook, dope. the verse, the bridge, or I'm writing the song where I produced it a song. Mm-hmm. I want hands in everything. That's why I say it's gonna be a good decade because I'm dragging it. Do you still have time to produce for other people while you're working on your own yeah, stuff? Yeah, hell yeah. I get inspired by everything. So I'm always in the studio, always working. You know what I'm saying? If I'm tight, I'm in the booth. If I'm happy, I'm in the booth. If I'm, you know what I'm saying? Whatever feeling I'm I'm do, creating for something. Do you prefer to work alone or do you prefer to have like your people around? Um, it depends. Cause like ha- half of my sessions be like the gang, like ignorant. my sessions be ignorant when it's ignorant. Like I be having every, but it's a movie, but a certain energy. Like you can hear Gala, you can hear from listening to Gala's that that session was lit. But like there's certain songs where I want to really, I gotta really think, I gotta really, you know what I'm saying? I gotta zone in on the vibe. It gotta be just me, the engineer, maybe a kango, light the kango. You know what I'm saying? Light, you know what I'm saying? Get some incense or whatever. Get this, you know what I'm saying? Set the vibe, whatever. <laughs> that might be a purple light session or whatever, red, whatever. <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, otherwise, you know what I mean? I had the gang outside for my sessions. Depends on the song. Well, listen, I think this is really fun to mix yes. you guys up in here together today. Mm-hmm. I hope, yeah, this is different. Hopefully, everybody learned a lot from yeah. each other. Mm-hmm. I like your Would You Rather. That, you should start that, Would You Rather. Oh, would you, you should put all your guests through Would You Rather. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's different. Yeah, no, it's good. Yeah, Heard you. Make them choose. Mm-hmm. Well, and um, Capella, is there anything else you want to let us know that you have going uh, coming up? Um, yeah, I just posted the um, the cover art joint for it. So this Friday, we're dropping the Gyalas remix. Mm. That's about to be a movie with Chris Brown and Popcon. Oh, I'll yeah. That's, now that's lie. huge. Yeah, we got to go crazy. And then... That's talk- a bit. How did, so did you pick them to be on it or who? how did that happen? Yeah, hell yeah. I picked them to be on it. Word. Those uh, are your top choices and you got them both? You basically, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nice. But, yeah. And it was, and, it, and it's dope because like the way that the industry been and just supporting and embracing us and all that, it, like it wasn't hard. Like, but as soon as Popcorn heard it, he like recorded it, like not even a day or two later. Chris Brown recorded his almost immediately. Like it's different. Like 
I like the fact I like the state of music right now because everybody's just on some. Nah, let's do it. Fuck it, let's do it. Everybody it working, out. yeah. Everybody's I love it. working. Listen, listen the pandemic that right shit put people's mindsets in a different place. It, did, mm-hmm. it made a major shift all over the world in every way. Like everything is different now. Yeah. Mostly for the good. And Dr. Z, you have your own podcast and everything, right? Yeah, I mean, just if you go to Legendary Playmate, my uh, website, I mean, my uh, uh, Instagram, I kind of have the uh, whole link tree there to different things. I'm doing. Only fans too. Yeah, only fans. And I you just made us all want to go see this porn you just did. Yeah, good. Good. It's good. Okay, it's let fun. me subscribe. It's fun. It's impressive. <laughs> I can't and believe it took you that long to do that. I know. Brittany finally talked me into it. It's funny. We did like some lesbian porn 20 years ago. And then she actually, she's like a pack rat. She kept all the same lingerie, everything. And we did this whole thing reunited and it feels so good. We redid the whole wow. scene 20 years later, but we we're both like better. Mm-hmm. Oh. And then she finally <laughs> said, okay, it's time. You gotta, you, I gotta get some dick in you. I'm like, come on. She's like, it's been 20 years. Yeah, I got some dick in you. That got it. I got to get some dick in you. And I was time for some dick. So I was staying at her house in Las Vegas. So I was like, okay, okay. I guess she just, she just corrupted me. So, but yeah, it, it, we've it known each other for so long and we had, she's like, I, I picked like the perfect guy for you. You're gonna love him. And I said, oh, and right. he, "Yeah, he was great." I could see why like women go crazy because he's like, he's like really great at foreplay, and he like has the eye contact, and he makes you feel like you're the most beautiful woman in the world. He's I'm a like, gallus. I, I'm like, I could see why. I like, he's, <laughs> I could see everybody. Everybody's like lining up to want to. See, you hear these tips? Damn. Eye contact. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, he's got this like intense mm-hmm. eye contact. Do you do eye I, contact? Of course, miss. Of miss. Course. miss. Like, <laughs> he been missing us all day. Well, Man. the thing is, and he was like a famous YouTuber before, so he already built like a huge following. And then one day he just announced he's going to do porn. So mm-hmm. he already had this. So, yeah, so you never know. Eye yeah. contact sometimes feel a little dramatic, though. You like what? Like sometimes eye contact feel a little dramatic. I don't need dramatic? to be staring at your soul for 45 minutes. It, but you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like every now and then, it's like, miss, you're seeing like, somewhere else. You're, you're seeing, seeing this. You know what I'm saying? Every now and then, you're seeing you heard. You're seeing. You're but you know what it is? It's like, the four play, like they kiss your yeah. neck and they play with your hair and like they touch your face and all that kind of stuff. Got you. And that's like Make love. Yeah. It's just so anyway, so yeah, and it was a lot of fun. So and I just started doing TikToks. I'm like, I gotta get into this TikTok. You, t- you be doing the dances and shit, man. <laughs> Not that I want to do sex advice, just on because I'm different. On no, TikTok. she gets some good advice though. I feel yeah. like we learn a lot of things. Yeah, yeah no, I'm, I'm learning a lot today. She's yeah. a real sex You're therapist. Gonna run out get, get, yeah, you're gonna run out and get that uh, multiple orgasm mm, book. Of course. Start practicing. You know, some, some no, I think I want to teach that. The Kegels. Yeah, word. The, the ancient <laughs> Australian the art of genital origami. Genital origami. So you can entertain because like the Aborigines didn't have much to do mm-hmm. so that's what they Damn, did they were bored, so they started playing with their dicks and they mm-hmm. would you know like Pause. put a show just with their dicks right. that's fine yeah that's all good yeah mm-hmm. and then well, I'll, I'll keep that in mind <laughs> you know saying, spice up the relationship <laughs> nah, yeah exactly. I got a show for you Miss. <laughs> like, this looks right. like the Eiffel Tower now. <laughs> wow. Eiffel Tower got it she got it uh, all so, right well this is lip service thank you so much Dr. Z Capella Gray we appreciate you I right, yes. yeah, appreciate y'all having me and all that <laughs>